Hi, it's Megan. And it's Bree. And we just want to talk about TV. Welcome to our podcast, Unseries. Each episode, we're going to cover a TV show, new or old, and have a silly little conversation about it. So grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get Unseries. Happy 2024! <laughs> Welcome back to we're season back. two of Unseries. We're so back. We're so back. You thought we're we were so gone. back. We're not even in the same place. You thought we got canceled. We're not. We're so back. We're uh, on Zoom. We're so back. We're um, coming to you live from two different cities in two different time zones. You know, you have to in our careers in our in our lives we have to make it happen no matter what. There may be a barrier. There may be some obstacles in the way, but you really got to make it happen. And that's why we joined mm-hmm. today, you guys today on this Zoom chat. Exactly. 2020, 2024 is not letting your obstacles stop you. It's the year yes. of overcoming. <laughs> it's the year of realizing things. <laughs> I'm realizing things. I'm Every year is the year of realizing things. <laughs> um, and we realized that we had a duty as a television podcast. As professional television watchers. And critics. (laughs) And critics. That we had to give our predictions for the delayed 2023 Emmy Awards. Yeah. We've decided you guys need our opinions. Um, You're kind of lucky we almost hosted. Yeah, I think we were so close to hosting. But now it's Anthony Anderson. So for the 2024 (laughs) Emmys... (laughs) We're throwing our hat in the ring officially. (laughs) Our hat in the ring to be the hosts yeah and it's gonna happen i think the academy needs to think about that (laughs) i can't it's the 75th one we should have done it it's such a big it's the quarter quell (laughs) the quarter quell and we're not hosting (laughs) yeah i think they missed up there i mean like no tea or shade for anthony (laughs) for someone who's actually on a tv show yeah um okay (laughs) I want to, before we get into the Emmys, we need to catch up on what we've been watching. Oh, but I no. actually, <laughs> speaking of Anthony Anderson, I watched his brand new game show called We Are Family. Ooh. It premiered last week. I think it was Wednesday. Is his mom on it? Yes. Yes. Anthony Anderson and his mom. <laughs> you know it. A, du- a duo that I don't know that we can compete with. I got if she's not at the Emmys. I know. Then, I got to but... say it. <laughs> um we'll give her that we'll give them that (laughs) um it's a show where there's a celebrity's family member that you don't know they come out on stage and there's a hundred audience members and they sing to the audience there's visual clues there's verbal clues that behind the sphere behind the sphere is their famous relative so apparently all these people sing i wasn't sure that they'd all be singers I i guess they aren't all singers but they're celebrity family member their non-celebrity family member sings and in the background on the sphere they're putting visual clues to help the people i guess at home but also mostly on in the, the audience on the sphere like the las vegas <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the people in the audience have to guess and the faster you guess like or the people that get it right split the money and then there's one person who did the best of the night that gets to be the super guesser and gets like a chance of even more money they are the one person that has to guess it though because there's three celebrities throughout the night and the first one was pretty good it was michelle williams from destiny's child oh, and her shoot. celebrity or her non-celebrity relative. her celebrity and the second one i was like are they all gonna be singers i didn't realize because they duet like second they sing a second song and they duet behind the sphere so you what can't if you see can't them, but sing you- but you, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, are these all celebrities the singers? They're not. But apparently all celebrities can sing because the second apparently. person comes up and his cousin, the first two were cousins, Michelle Williams's cousin and the second person's cousin. And I don't want to spend the whole time talking about this, but I was really proud. We talk about the whole as time. soon as the celebrity cousin came out, she said something and I'm like, it's going to be Joel McHale. Oh my gosh. Bree, it's always, it's always that it, guy. It is always Joel McHale. Cause I was watching another game show right before it. And I was like, God, I wish Joel McHale was here. <laughs> He's like dead there. ass. <laughs> Cause it was Ken Jong's show. And I'm like, well, you don't Joel have to Ken. worry. He'll be there, Megan. He'll be there. Yeah. And the person was like, we're really excited to be part of the, we are family community. And I was like, it's, if it's not Joel, it's Allison Bree. 
<laughs> it's someone. And then he duets her. And it was, I could know that man's voice anywhere, even though he, I've never heard him sing in his life. He sounds like Joel McHale, no matter what he's doing. <laughs> they had visuals on the screen of a teddy bear with the chef's hat. I said, he was on the bear. He was on the bear. He had a visual of um, his new show, which is like an animal catcher show, Animal Patrol. And then eventually they had like a community college thing. I'm like, it's Joel McHale. Everyone go home. I did it. And then the second, I'm the third person you. was um, Nikki Glaser and her dad. Gosh, I want to be on the show, but fun. I'm not a celebrity. I know. I'm not and really I don't have a one. celebrity relative either. But this one sucks. day will be the celebrity relative and we'll be behind the sphere. I'm not singing. <laughs> Free. <laughs> you and Ava have to go to Jingle Ball. I, mean, <laughs> I do. I can do some vocals. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that I think true. I'd rate that show eleven out of ten. <laughs> oh shit! Should we do it on the pod? <laughs> we watch the whole. Se- we wait for the whole season to come out. We watch a whole season, mm. and you know what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't we, do, know we start doing game shows. We're going to start doing game shows because we're going to be out of shows. I know. The strike is still catching up on its <laughs> delayed releases. Um, um, I was going to say one more thing. I think it's funny that all the Fox shows, because that's what Mass Singer's on, at the end of the show, you know, they do like the production logo. And like sometimes there's a little jingle. All mm-hmm. of the jingles are ooh, 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 ooh which is the theme song to Mass Singer. Oh, that's funny. So after no. every game show, it goes, ooh, 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 ooh. Not Mass Singer. Mass so Dancer. We should do Mass Singer, Mass Dancer. We are the we are, we are family. And then like Ken Jong has one called I Can Hear Your Voice, which me, me and my family could not figure out how it. For like, a whole year, we'll do confusing. game shows. Yeah, like we were supposed to do Rosé for our Drink or Sink show. Yeah. <laughs> renew, everyone renew Drink or Sink please why haven't my they renewed asked it about yet sink. my mom asks about it every once in a while i'm like so i don't know my it's just like <laughs> we have other things we have we're a on podcast. hiatus yeah we're in our podcast era and then next um, is our gta era so yes i actually have amazon open <laughs> oh no oh no <laughs> the sun's getting real low and play t- PlayStation, everyone like and subscribe to Fun Art like Gaming. And subscribe to Fun Art Gaming channel that you definitely exactly. want from us. Yeah. <laughs> so, Brie, what have you been watching oh my during God. the holiday break? It's been like five years. <laughs> <laughs> um, what have I been? Wa- really, I've been staring at a wall. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, I mean, if we had to go back, I read two Christmas books. That's right. And what were you saying about the one that you and were one, reading? I really fucking hate it. <laughs> oh. No, just kidding. It wasn't that bad. I'm making it sound tea. like the worst book ever. <laughs> I need the tea. It just, like, the first book, so I told you. Wait, it was like, meet me under the mistletoe. First of all, they didn't even meet under a mistletoe, like, at all, ever. There was no mistletoe. <laughs> there was no Christmas. Like, it wasn't Christmassy at all. <laughs> Oh my god. That's the D. That's crazy. <laughs> That's, everyone go comment snakes law. under the good the good reads um no. review. Uh, no. That's so um, funny. But then I told you like it wasn't enemies to lovers. It was like the brother was the problem, which like in the end wasn't even a big problem. Like, did he really care that much? Like he didn't even care that much. Like you could have just done it, girl. <laughs> And then we wasted 17 chapters. (laughs) And that's another thing. This book is 400 pages. There was not enough plot or anything going on for it to be 400 pages. And I didn't know that. I kind of just picked it up because of the cover. And it was 400 pages. And there was a huge friend group and they all sucked. (laughs) Like all the side Oh, that's the worst. Awful. It just like wasn't giving anything. (laughs) They had like, no, there just wasn't enough. And then it wasn't Christmassy. Like, I get these Christmas books to feel a little festive. I don't get them to, I don't know. The but- shit. <laughs> For them not to kiss under the mistletoe. Are you kidding? Exactly. Don't make There's that a the- time and a place. <laughs> time and place. Like, don't make that the title. Yeah. Okay. That's this was the time and the place. And they did I'm going to burn that book. No, just kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It wasn't that bad. I think people could enjoy it. 
Maybe. Yeah, it just missed the mark a little. It just missed my mark. <laughs> missed the mistletoe. <laughs> it missed the whole freaking mistletoe. That's crazy. All of Christmas. But you know what? I forgive them. Mm-hmm. It was based in London or something. Oh, England. yes. And we we Somewhere established your love London. of so, British people. And then my other Christmas book was also in England. And I listened to the audio book. What was it called? All of these Christmas books have the same names. Yeah, it all has mistletoe. <laughs> it's all my Christmas book that we don't have to get into because I didn't read. <laughs> I think <laughs> it had mistletoe in it too. But I they all the have like the same names. Mm-hmm. Make, Make you mind mis- this Christmas. Ooh. Like there's probably 27 more books. <laughs> <laughs> Make you. Yeah. Um, and I listened to the audio book and the person was British. <gasps> Hell yeah. So you know what? We are already winning that's good and that book i gave a nice four stars to because it was good it was festive it was drama but it wasn't too much drama and i loved the side characters that's good and but i will say <laughs> uh, so i've read two christmas books that are like um sapphic and they were both the same plot the two books you're talking about <laughs> yeah so i read one last year <laughs> And oh, it was okay. this, it's like the same plot it's like they're fake dating the brother and then fall in love with oh the yeah so but it's like the same thing and I, I was like okay but you know I ate them both up but it's just funny right. it was the same thing but that one was more Christmassy and made me feel more it wasn't 400 pages that's good <laughs> If you're gonna be 400 pages, you need to make it worth it. You need to make you need to make your time. They need to be under the mistletoe. No. Exactly. <laughs> if not a single page was under the mistletoe, that's not insane. Under, there was no mistletoe mention. <laughs> that's crazy. No. They just, just really just do titling stuff, whatever they want. They just no one reads the book. Like they it's just, like the analytics telling you if you have like keywords, like buzzwords. Yeah. I think that's literally what they're doing. Yeah. Damn. But that's tragic. But that was my Christmas time. That sounds really nice. <laughs> Thank you. Did and you... I re- what? Sorry, what? <laughs> then I reread Beach Read. Like oh, you. yes. That yes. was really good. You did it faster than I did. <laughs> well, I was forcing I did... myself. Like... Yeah. I did... <laughs> if I didn't have to pause in October, which I guess I didn't have to pause in October, because <laughs> I didn't even read anything spooky really in October either. I was really, it was a really rough year for reading for Megan um but yeah I had to wait a month to finish it yeah you gotta do what you gotta do Mm -hmm. and it was quicker to read because it's easier to read a book you've read like I did want to like really enjoy it and if I really did do the experiment of like which Emily Henry book is the best I'd probably take more time but it's like I know what's going on I can kind of like speed it where you're like you're not trying to pay attention to like wait this detail what did her mom do what did dad do you kind of know I already knew the setup yeah Emily Henry's she does what she needs to do. I still have to read well. Happy Place, but I'm not. You do. But I I refuse. <laughs> the paperback is coming. The paperback is coming, guys. And then you're going to have to wait another year for, like, <laughs> for the that next purple, the purple one. one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I, I don't know. It's got, there's definitely like a tactic there, but I don't appreciate it. I don't know. So I want yeah. all my Emily Henry books to look the same. Yeah. Like, <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah. That's my beef with Emily Henry. The <laughs> books are great, but what the hell? <laughs> but what the hell is the marketing with the, the book covers? With the hard that she said, I don't want I want hard covers. Yeah. Halfway. Her through. first if her first ones were hard covers. Oh, well, I guess you probably can't get them in hardcover, but I don't have them in hardcover. I don't have them. But it's so, fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you um, watch anything? I watched <laughs> I watched um, The Bear again mm. with my mom, where I'm watching it. We just, we watched the Christmas episode Ooh. last night. And what did she think? She was, <laughs> <laughs> it felt like the longest hour. Because <laughs> it's just like so, t- and going through it again, oh my God. Yeah. It's like a lot. <laughs> it was so funny because I did the same thing. I, I made my sister, I didn't make them. 
I made them. <laughs> Vince? I have to say they can step out of this whenever they want. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they I think my mom really liked it. Um yeah. definitely tense. But I text. I remember I texted you, and I was like, "Why did I think the bear holiday episode was Thanksgiving this Thanksgiving. whole time? And we only watched it in June. It wasn't that long ago, and it must have been like other shows or something that had like specific Thanksgiving, where it must. I must have gotten it confused with I don't know Succession or something. Like yeah. I was just convinced because I was like, "Oh, they have a holiday episode coming up, but it's like not Christmas." Yeah. But then we were watching it, and it was Christmas. And it was like, literally oh, I guess Christmas. This works out because it was Christmas time. Yeah. I was like, why was I convinced? And it's Thanksgiving. And you said the same thing. I was like, this wasn't just me. What did we do? They're zooming in on all the food. You're like, it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, I guess. But I guess, yeah, it was Christmas. And, and what a festive time. It was insane. Yeah. And I don't know. I think my mom likes this season more, but she didn't like last season. And the tea, when it all came out at dinner. I said, I kind of knew that. <laughs> When it all That's came so out, funny. when when I when I went, <gasps> and so then funny. wait after that episode, I went. This is a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna get into that. Yeah, this... uh, I can't with award shows. I don't sometimes. understand that, but go off. Yeah, go off. Um, yes, I haven't watched any other TV show. I haven't watched anything new. Yeah, I did the same thing. I rewatched The Bear. My mom and I did rewatch Shrinking when we were by ourselves. Because mm. um, me and my sister and my mom watched The Bear. Then my sister went on a little trip. And I said, Mom, what are we going to do? On a little trip. We started a puzzle. Yes. And we watched Shrinking. And also, while we were watching Shrinking, I started crocheting, Brie. Yeah, I saw that. I saw what is she doing over there? I got a wooble. A wooble. I got a a wooble. And I don't want to, again, take too much time on this podcast (laughs) talking about it. I think we need to talk about the wooble the whole time. (laughs) But I have her here. (laughs) And she's not finished. Okay, I want to see her. (laughs) Aww. What is it? It's going to be an elephant. Aww. So I still have to do the ears and the nose. But that's and pretty it, good. Long story short, they pre-start this for you. So it was easy to get into it. And my hands cramp. It's a whole thing. I don't want to go into it. It's a whole thing. I, I could cramping. not sleep that night because my arm hurts so bad. <laughs> but I just have to get used to it. But then you have to like start the ears yourself. And I could not handle that shit. I like was like, I'm done. <laughs> what? So, so I'm going to have to. Without no, 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 no. I just need or to hurt. I just need to reattempt. Her name is Bubbles. Her God given name is Bubbles. Okay, Bubbles. <laughs> so she is going to be um, earless for now. Oh, oh and no. trunkless. Oh, no. She just has but that no ears. Is something new I did while re watching Shrinking. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah. fun and hip. Yes. So I did that after years of begging my sister to watch one episode of Grey's Anatomy with me. Her friend tells her to watch it. She starts it. <laughs> And next thing we know, we're on the middle of season three by the time I left. Classic they got to Sarah. the Yeah, but she's obsessed. We got to the fairy crash. And I'm like, you oh, don't even no. know. She doesn't even know. I mean, she probably watched it after I left. She probably she doesn't knows. even know that the ghosts are coming. Oh my gosh. That and not even the last so of the ghosts. <laughs> and it keeps getting crazier. That's not even. I know. I, we really got to do this show on the pod because I got a lot to say. Like, we're going to have to break it into seasons as well. And probably we have we'll so do many shows them. to break into season. Yeah, that's coming in 2024. Um, <laughs> but lastly, I did start Percy Jackson. Yeah. I'm loving it so far. Didn't read the book. So I feel like that lessens my voice on this story. <laughs> but I on love this it. Story. I love a good. I love a good I wouldn't say it's quite dystopian, but like, you know, young adult novel to adaptation live for that shit. Even if I did not read the novel. Wow, that's inspiring. You should probably pick up the novels. I was told to. I just don't know that I can force, like, I've been having a reading slump and to force myself to read this book before by like a, by a timeline, that's hard to do. So I would like that maybe once season one's over, maybe I'll get into them. So that way one future seasons, I can be a little bit more like, oh my God, this is going to happen. Oh but God. I also think there is something where it's like, if you read it as a kid, that's going to be more special than if you read them now. 
Yeah. Not that I would discourage myself or others from reading them now, but it's not going to hit the same as it is for the 20 somethings that were teens, the 20 somethings that already read them. Yeah. But if we do it on the pod, I feel like I have to do something to educate myself. If we do it on the pod and we don't know anything, we're going to have to phone some friends. Like, there's this. <laughs> we're going to have to have some. All I know phone is that there's this little bitch <laughs> named Percy. <laughs> That's the smallest bitch. <laughs> but they're so talented that's all i'll say for now because i think okay. we, do pod, we can get into it but they're so talented like he just <laughs> turned 15 so he was like 13 14 doing this show and i'm like they're Acting really good down. and they're all really good the three main characters they kind of smash it i'll believe it when i see it no just oh, wait, wait. <laughs> that's a threat that sounded like a threat i do see a lot of it like I see it a lot on my feed which like mm-hmm. that only happens with so many shows where like so many people are watching it that you also see yeah. it on yours so yeah. I'm like well there must be something special about this little yeah. bitch it's like comfy to me because it feels like something I would have enjoyed had I picked up a book <laughs> when <laughs> if I, I did younger. pick up a book once like creating like a fantasy world I know people feel different ways about fantasy and certain things but like I don't know. And I did watch the Logan Lerman movie, which is controversial, but like, Mm. I like the Mm. world that it's creating. And I like the characters. I like the escapism of it. The drama. (laughs) The drama. (laughs) Wait, it's Greek. God. Yeah, Greek mythology. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. Which is cool. Like, not that I have like a particular interest in that, but I enjoy it when it's happening. (laughs) Yeah. I find, I find it kind of interesting. Maybe I'll get into it. Yeah. I just know I watched them. I don't know what movie it was at my friend's birthday. And I said, this is lame. <laughs> Wait, I said that out loud. Wait, I think that's the Damn. same night, that same birthday party where Kung Fu Panda kept playing through the night. Like we turned on Kung Fu Panda later in the night. And every time I woke up, Kung Fu Panda was replaying. Whose <laughs> <This> birthday was <laughs> It was a lit birthday party. I mean, it, it was like my neighbor Panda and Percy Jackson. It's on. Repeat. What else do you need? <laughs> Logan Lerman, Jack Black. Yeah, that was the big two. That is what was happening, and I said, "Okay, this is weird." <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. I, I actually have to go. My mom's calling. Um. Um. All right. Other than all right, <laughs> I was gonna say one more thing, but I don't know how quickly you're gonna be able to do it. It has to be spe- speed round. Um. For what? Because we're going to talk about, like, the prestigious <laughs> shows of 2023. Yeah, we know all three, about them. What were some oh, of your no. highs from 2023 that may not be nominated for Emmys? Because as we know, on this show, not every great show is award-worthy. <laughs> but yeah. it doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. Yeah, true. So what were some of your quickly favorite shows, characters, performances oh, oh character oh, performances okay yeah, what um, would who would you give your emmys to if you oh my that? gosh <laughs> i give mine to john b from outer I, things i knew it <laughs> Kay stokes and the award goes Kay to stokes for i don't know i know we joked about vibe. it on our own but like we should do our own award show i think we should and john b will win all of them mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, my favorite, hmm, what are some of my favorite things from, well, my number one is The Bear, which is mm-hmm. nominated, but like, I think if I had to go through like everything I watched this year, I think The Bear, yeah. I had the best time and I love that cast and we're going to meet them in Chicago on February. <laughs> the name's the exact thing. <laughs> we are going to see them in Chicago. Manifesting that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also liked um succession of course and then I like Gen V was a big Mm -hmm. one that I really like when we watched it I wasn't expecting to be like but I remember when we finished we binged like the first three and I was so sad yeah (laughs) I had to wait (laughs) yeah it was was a good time um I liked Heartstopper I think Heartstopper Mm -hmm. is always that just slays (laughs) yeah (laughs) my favorite I don't know, but we've also watched so many shows this year that ended forever. Right. Tragic. Um, You know, a bunch of them, like, are award contenders, like Succession, Maisel, mm -hmm. Barry, 
and I guess Ted Lasso like they won't say for sure but they're also like they're but it's a little sus much, like, <laughs> it's a like, little like, <laughs> why don't they just say it I'm like just like rip it like the, I feel like oh I'll Wait. save it for when we get into it but okay. like I don't know they're dragging it out I know I okay anyway <laughs> they need to Anywho, speak up oh I, um go ahead wait one more the buccaneers i really like that i haven't finished the last episode but i i love it yeah with laugh love i'm gonna watch it so we can do Slay. it in February, and then we can so. talk about <laughs> okay <laughs> i can't believe bridgerton's not coming out until may yeah that's a little weird and like two parts like who do they think i am a Bridgerton fan? No, I'm just kidding. Good. <laughs> Who do they think I have a stand? <laughs> do they think I'm a Bridgerton stand or something? <laughs> I really, it really all measures up. And again, like I feel like you can change my mind with the show, but like it's really gonna hold up on how much Kate and Anthony are there. <laughs> they're from, didn't they say they said they're gonna be in it, but they're gonna be, of course, like no more conflict with them, right? Which, which is, is good fine. because they had a like lot of see freaking a little conflict. <laughs> yeah. Like, more, uh, we're going to need a Bridgerton episode because, like, the book, they had so much more, like, togetherness than the show did. Yeah. Long story short. Which at least we're going to get some crumbs. <laughs> They're going to show them in the back of the shot. You're in the shot, Noah. Or it's probably, like, stand-ins because they just blur them. You can't tell that it's not <laughs> Simone Ashley and Jonathan Bailey. It's just not them at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, very obviously. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay, I agree with everything you said. Like the bear and succession are probably my top two. Yeah. As well. <laughs> um I'm trying to think of everything we've talked about. I watched you, like for the first I started oh, you in 2023. Yeah, that's a big one. Which I'm thinking, like, I, I keep thinking about this time last year, like when I was here and I was kind of like alone binging stuff and that was like my you era. And that was a really good era when like I could just like fully go into a show. And I want to do that again. I don't know with what. Um, yeah. And I did really like that. And I liked, I like that we're all set up for season five this year, which will be fun. The ending, if he doesn't die, then what are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think they could do something really cool. Like with like, it's a similar, like similar vein of Barry, where it's like, this yeah. is a terrible character, but I also enjoy watching this character. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, I think it could be really cool depending on what happens. They better do it. Right. And they, yeah, they because could, they I'm could also fuck thinking it up. of ways it could go right or like they could do it really well and cool. But you know, they may just like, I don't know. Oh, it's I gotta have hope. I gotta know. have hope. It's Netflix. They're gonna release it in 17 parts. <laughs> yeah. You drag it out. <laughs> um, yeah i'm trying to like just really quickly breeze through i mean i have uh, jenny georgia oh yeah actually was a great one, one. <laughs> i was gonna say like outer banks too but like jenny and georgia genuinely <laughs> i enjoy yeah and i hope too. we get some like they better start filming so i don't That's know where they're at crazy. With anything, <laughs> but i'm gonna need something soon or i'm gonna lose it uh free free georgia, free georgia. she's never done anything wrong she's never done anything wrong in her life <laughs> she's literally oh it. god yes yeah never have i ever ended this year oh that's tragic mm-hmm. we didn't get any sex lives of college girls this year 2023 yeah. so hopefully that comes out soon um and i oop and i oop wait what was your least favorite watch oh oh i don't know that i would say anything is the least that we did on the podcast i have a least if i had to if i had to name one is it one we <laughs> your <did>? face <laughs> my thing is because like i mean we talk about this all the time on the show it's really hard for me to like dislike something yeah, because like, like i'm having a good time like it might not be the best quality show but if we had a laugh if we had, if we had, a, had a lot of laughs we had a lot of laughs <laughs> yeah um because I feel like Outer Banks really pissed me off no, at the beginning. No, same. But no, Outer Banks is number one. No, just <laughs> Wrong. But like, if it was so hard for us to get through it. Yeah, it was. That's the only thing I'm thinking. I don't know. What's your least? Oh, 
honorable mention yellow jackets we didn't mention that great job oh yellow jackets i forgot about that wow so many we and we so started many. that we started that yeah we binged and we caught yeah. up okay hold on that let's take a moment of silence. okay <laughs> <laughs> Stare at each other. i forgot about that <laughs> that was a good time mm-hmm. um okay yeah i mean for least favorite like I mean, watching I, Outer Banks was the hardest to get through, mm-hmm. but like once we got to a certain point, it was like fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> no misses, even after it missed a little no bit. No misses. <laughs> it missed like maybe a little bit, maybe like 95%. But it got us back. It got us back. 5% of the time. And where would I be without... Get John B. What's, it, what's his dad say? Bring it on home, home, John B. Gotta get the gold. <laughs> so you know what? That brought back something in me. Yeah. It held. It was the. Yeah. You know. <laughs> okay, but yes. I think it wasn't necessarily like, like it wasn't like awful. <laughs> Wilderness was probably like out of everything we watched was probably my like if I had to name one of my watches this year like I had a good I had a good time it was fine but like it wasn't that like it didn't it doesn't hold much yeah in my head you know like it's not that's fair I mean yeah I forgot (laughs) I forgot about it (laughs) even though that's one of the more recent ones we did I think if like obviously we actually got into it on our episode of it so if you want to listen yeah go listen to it but I feel like (laughs) stream um I think the big thing is just like it could have been something but they just didn't do it yeah 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 they could have like it it had the foundation Mm-hmm. it had it a just good was like, like story a okay. good cast <laughs> yeah good cast but they could have executed it better yeah so they should probably rework that and get back <laughs> yeah. to the studio <laughs> get back to work <laughs> i just remembered another um oh my god i mean they're all emmys contenders because i have like the winners of the creative arts emmys up and daisy jones yeah i read the book and watched the show this this past year and then the last of us the, uh, yes that was tv because that was this the time last, last year us, too the last of us era was so good i can't i um, want to have that era right now and we're not in it i know <laughs> i just have there's nothing. so many my headspace this time last year was <laughs> insane because i was watching it was you, insane <laughs> but i was the last of us started around this time and the brain rot that that gave me and the pedro <laughs> pascal of it all not the pedro pascal era with love and respect i was obsessed with him <laughs> and i don't like i still love him big fan like, what a guy <laughs> what a man but like i like my brain doesn't react the same your to brain chemistry as it is it's like let's unpack like we need an episode to unpack no. what the fuck happens when you have like a certain level of a hyper fixation and it goes away and then it goes away like <laughs> and it just like completely goes away and like i st- i mean it- and if the show came back maybe then i'd like feel it yeah. i don't know like what how that works <laughs> yeah like again like it's not like i dislike him i love him but like <laughs> I don't but know. What? <laughs> it's like I need a scientist. I need a psychologist. A science- we bring a scientist on the pod <laughs> the show to explain. Like it's Bill Nye. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is why you love Pedro Pascal so much in <laughs> this moment. Oh my mm. god! But like, what a time! What a time! That like, was a I don't good know time. If I was so mentally ill, you're so <laughs> mentally ill, but like I was something. No, that when I'm the most mentally ill <laughs> with TV shows, it's always the winter. <laughs> yeah, well, it's almost like you need that to get through it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm trying to find that too. I'm like, I need something world to latch that's on not to. The winter. Yeah. I can feel that for Percy Jackson because I feel like that's similar. Like it probably isn't the same thing, but in terms of like escapism, yeah. it's offering me something like that. Yeah. But it's weekly too. And again, I love a weekly show. I love a little, I don't love it to all be gone at once. But then when you're waiting a week, it's like, what the fuck? A week is so long. So and I'm like, long. someone just send me the tape. <laughs> just send me the daily. No, it's Gen V. The- I was trying to get like early stuff. I was like, so 
I would do that on Disney Channel. I, people, and those episodes would somehow leak. I don't know. You could watch yeah, episodes before they could. aired in really shitty quality. I was like, I gotta know what's happening with I Sunny and Chad. I need to know. This is important. Not Sunny and Chad. Like, brain rot. <laughs> brain rot is real. We need an episode to unpack that because to- what the fuck. <laughs> but I also like... It might not be healthy, but it also, like, I'm craving something like that right now. I no, literally, I don't that. have anything right now. So I'm going like to need someone to step up. Someone to yeah. step up. I'm going to need a new show to drop. To drop right now. It's time for the main event. The moment you've been waiting for after we- an hour of talking about <laughs> all the fun things. Recap and our prediction. <laughs> so. I have my new glasses on because I think they make me look Ooh, smart. Yeah. And <laughs> because... <laughs> hell yeah brother i need an eye doctor appointment yeah, I yeah direct, you these do. are better they don't fall off i got um pink ones again that also don't fall off Ooh. So. once i get my prescription i'm logging on this it's is sponsored over. this is sponsored by <laughs> <laughs> use code unseriesis 20 for 20 yes. percent off i wish don't do that don't you- <laughs> um all right we're gonna get into predicting the 2023 main primetime emmy awards they had the creative arts emmys part one i think last night oh it was only part one yeah i think they do it again tonight but it's also the golden globes tonight so we're not taking in golden globes to account we don't know what's gonna happen not that one means something to the other i think the emmys have been voted for like they're locked and loaded and so have the golden globes so they're not it's gonna be completely like doesn't matter doesn't matter hollywood foreign press association and the tv academy they did not link up they're different and i'm gonna be on both of them we're gonna host one of them. and we're gonna host one of them yeah god please we could be tina and amy <laughs> yeah tina. you have the hoodie <laughs> yes <laughs> go on a comedy tour yeah um okay really quick creative arts emmys i think we already talked about it ourselves, but Nick Offerman won for the Last of Us guest appearance, which Woo! big for big for the program. So did Storm Reed, yeah, for guest the, actress. The Last of Us was taken. I know, and it's making me all. really think about the rest <laughs> of these awards. Mine does not add up with that. I delay. don't know if it does. And then Sam Richardson won guest actor in a comedy, which was surprising but exciting. I love Sam Richardson. Mm-hmm. White Lotus won casting for drama. The Bear won casting for comedy. I'm trying to find some highlights. Wednesday won Nation. for costumes. Because there's a lot of stuff I don't, don't want to go one by one. Barry won for stunts. <laughs> Last of Us won a lot. I think I think score or composition, um, the the White Lotus composer won, which is okay. exciting. Which yeah rock on Play at the club <laughs> but best title sequence i think went to wednesday oh really yeah all right it's like wednesday had like a good one but like oh the white lotus one went off but i think the visuals of the title sequence i think went to the last of us oh <laughs> i think the music went to wednesday but the the I last of us title song slaps too yeah i love a good title sequence <laughs> And then the biggest thing, which is on my ballot, I don't know if it's on your ballot, but TV movie was already given out. What? (laughs) Excuse me. (laughs) What did you just say? What was it? I what's funny is I marked a few of them on my list because I was like, I don't know. And one of the ones I picked one, it was the Weird Al movie. Oh. So that one, we don't have to worry about that one. Oh, thank you that we don't this is a mostly tv series podcast we do other series but we don't do standalone movies i haven't watched any of the television movies right me either (laughs) yeah (laughs) so So, you could say i'm a (laughs) i think the one i wanted to watch was weird al because i love Daniel radcliffe but so good for them good for weird al (laughs) good good for weird al yankovic yes slay so that is our spiel we're just gonna get into it 
Again, this is just for fun. We don't know what's going to happen. We haven't seen the Globes. None of the other award shows have happened. Usually the Emmys happen in September. So it's usually like the first one. Not that like one affects the other, but it gives you like a gauge. Now it's just like, who knows what's going to happen yeah. to the Globes? Who knows what's going to happen to the Emmys? This episode comes out on Thursday, the 11th. Emmys will be on Monday, if you're listening to this. Yes, yes. On the, the day. The 15th. Out. Monday, the 15th. So watch this. And what are you going to predict and then see if you were right? <laughs> yeah, let us know what you also hope and think. Because I feel like my predictions are a mix of wants. Yeah, mine and... are definitely wants. <laughs> <laughs> and like who maybe could oh, do also... it. But you never know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Should we get into it? Let's get into it. Let's dive Lead in. Lead actor in a drama the nominees are jeff bridges for the old man brian cox for succession kieran culkin succession bob odenkirk better call saul pedro pascal the last of us and jeremy strong succession you know how i feel about bob odenkirk (laughs) oh okay (laughs) i should have worn my ship shirt i have it here damn damn that would have been perfect I had to wear the same outfit for season two as I did in season one of our show. Okay. <laughs> Looks around. The thing is, so I'm wearing my Kendall Roy shirt for anyone listening and not watching. You hear that? A little bit. Is it Millie? Yes. <laughs> Millie has really strong opinions about Bob said- Odin Kirk like you do. <laughs> said, Bob. No, just kidding. I have nothing against mm-hmm. him. Just that's my thing is i i want it to be kieran or pedro a because jeremy strong already won brian cox was barely in it and jeff bridges what's the old what is the old man i'm not watching the old man i'm sorry <laughs> watching the old man <laughs> and yes we haven't seen better call saul i do want to watch it but i think that's, that's where it makes God. me <laughs> that's what makes me nervous is sometimes when it's the last show of a long running series, which it also is for succession. You think Bob is gonna win? Oh, I this don't is the worst know. day of my life. No, I don't know. No, and I I'm know. not picking him. I okay. want it to be Kieran or Pedro, but I'm trying to pick one. Yeah, you have to pick one. I have my you... official vote in. Are you gonna Are tell you ready? Me? Yeah, I'm gonna tell yeah. you. <laughs> Are you gonna tell me? No, I just you... never say it. <laughs> the secret. <laughs> it's Brian Cox. So I'm just kidding. <gasps> it's just for doing this. He literally was like this. Also, this is not a spo- this is not we're not spoiling. I mean, we are spoiling anything that is nominated for an Emmy fair game to spoil. Yeah, because like, what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just kidding. Um, my official pick for lead actor in a drama is Kiernan Culkin. What I can't. <laughs> I think that I want to meet him so bad, <laughs> and I'm nervous. Listen, it doesn't matter. Like we're not getting anything for picking these. We are. We get a million dollars if we get them all right. I'm locking in here in Culkin too, so it's a blue for both of us. My. <laughs> Also think it'd be great for Pedro just because we know it's going to be different in season two. He better act <laughs> down. But that doesn't mean he can't win. Bro fell off a horse. <laughs> He's not going to get shit. No. Nope. He's not getting shit. I will be happy if Pedro wins, but I think it'd be really special if Kieran won. I would smile for one minute if Pedro won, but I'd smile for a lifetime if Kieran didn't win. <laughs> And that's our official decision. That's the ranking. Locked in. I okay. just think he made me he made he made me feel the most. I hated him at one I hated the character. That's and true. then he made me feel bad for the character. And then Is he, he just made there? me feel like Can we so, get him out? <laughs> Can we get him out? Like what? Yeah. Yeah. That's the T. If Bob wins, I'm turning off the TV. <laughs> I'm smiling for zero minutes. I'm smiling for no time. I'll be frowning. It takes more muscles to frown. <laughs> That's how you know you have beef. I have beef. Okay, this, okay, yeah. All right, are we doing lead actress drama? 
Yes. Sharon Horgan, Bad Sisters, Melanie Linsky, Yellow Jackets, Elizabeth Moss, The Handmaid's Tale, Bella Ramsey, The Last of Us, Carrie Russell, The Diplomat, and Sarah Snook, Succession. Well. It's gotta be Sarah Snook! Sarah, like, it's obviously Sarah Snook. And I think Bella Ramsey has it in the bag for season two. Yeah, and Bella... And- Season two will give even more for Bella Ramsey to show. And Bella Ramsey was, of course, perfect in season one. But yeah, it's the same thing. I'll be happy if Bella wins. Yeah. But there's something poetic to me about Sarah and Kieran winning. And that Jeremy's already won the big three all need Emmys. Give. Yeah. Um, and then we haven't seen Bad Sisters, The Handmaid's Tale, or The Diplomat. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I don't Awkward. think it's going to Elizabeth Moss because it's, just, it's been on so long. Yeah. I hear Bad Sisters is good, but I don't know enough about it. And then Carrie Russell slays, but she can have it a different year. <laughs> Sorry, I'm right. You're wrong. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Not that we, need to break we, haven't down every seen, category, we haven't seen but... the shows. And we're like, I'm right. You're wrong. Yeah. Shut up. I guess we can do a little better, but I feel like. Well, we I get think to the shows. This is the best I've done this year. Yeah, I agree. All right, best I've done at the Emmys. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Slay. Are we staying in lead or do we want to stay in drama? Should we go to supporting? Yeah, let's stay in drama. Okay. Supporting actor in a drama, F. Er- Murray, Abraham, the White Lotus, Nicholas Braun, Succession, Michael Imperioli, the White Lotus, Theo James, the White Lotus, Matthew McFadden, Succession, Alan Ruck, Succession, Will Sharp, the White Lotus, Alexander Skarsgård, Succession. So it's it's going to Succession or White Lotus. Yeah. And we have seen both of those shows. So look at us. Look at we us. Professional. <laughs> we did it. But who's it going to fucking be? I picked Matthew McFadden but That's also yeah I don't know I because I feel like well Alexander Skarsgård didn't like do but like he was just like really good like yeah so like I feel like it could go to him for sure but I want it to go to Matthew McFadden me too I, I don't think... want it to yeah <laughs> I agree I don't think anyone on, I mean, I think everyone on White Lotus was great, but no one on White Lotus stood out the way that, like, for example, when, what's his name? One for season one. Oh, yeah. He was on Blast of Us, too. Um, he stood out, like, as the actor on that show. Yeah. Versus, like, these actors were all great. It's not like I didn't think, like, Theo James and Will Sharp, et cetera, did great. But they but didn't stand no one, out. Yeah. No, like, Matthew McFadden does, like, Alexander Skarsgård does. And I think they stand out also more than Alan Ruck, but I also think it'd be cool if Alan Ruck won. But, like, Alan Ruck just didn't have, I feel like he didn't have as much material to for work sure. with. Like, he was great in his, the wedding episode, which I think yeah. might be what all of them, or a lot of them got nominated. I don't know, actually. We'll see. But I'm with you. Wamsky's uh, nation. <laughs> looks around. <laughs> I think you give it to him. The I guess succession. I'll, I guess I'll give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> he won last year and everyone was like, that's my Princess Diana. <laughs> no, not Princess Diana. <laughs> my Princess Diana's actually nominated. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Um, supporting actress drama <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge, The White Lotus, Elizabeth Debicki, The Crown, Princess Debicki. Diana, <laughs> Princess Diana, <laughs> Megan Fahey, White Lotus, Sabrina Impacatori, The White Lotus, Aubrey Plaza, The White Lotus, Rhea Seahorn, Better Call Saul, J. Smith Cameron, Succession, and Simona Tabasco, The White Lotus. Okay, which we have not we seen, haven't Crown seen the Crown or Better Call Saul or Better Call Saul, but. We're right. You're wrong. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> uh, this is, I think it comes in more as a want than a theory. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I... <laughs> this I one's think hard. All, what do you think? All the White Lotus girlies slayed. Yeah. But I think one stood out mm-hmm. like hard. 
and it was yeah. Megan Fahey. I 1,000% agree. <laughs> like, if it's going to someone for White Lotus this season, it should be her. I like, love Jennifer Coolidge, but she got her flowers. She's got her flowers. And Megan Fahey is like a new face to a lot of people. And she... Mm-hmm. Not to us. We not to you. us. No, that's my girl. <laughs> that's a <our> girl. <laughs> that's my cousin. Um, <laughs> no, but she like gave the performance of her lifetime. She was acting... She proved herself as an actress. Poor bitch. Yes. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Positive. <laughs> love her so much I want it to be her so bad and I also like there I feel that way about Aubrey too just being a fan of her so much but like Megan Fahey would be like so satisfying to see her win like if Jennifer or Aubrey wins I'll be excited yeah it'd be like well of course but if Megan Fahey won that would like fire me that would feel that would feel like yes I would smile for 10 years (laughs) For a lifetime. Ten lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> won. I drew a little heart by her name and Aubrey's, but wait, who do you think will win? Someone we Jennifer don't Jennifer Coolidge would okay. wouldn't surprise me. And also Rhea Seahorn from Better yeah. Call Saul wouldn't surprise me. Another Better Call Saul bitch. I know. Bitches love Better Call Saul. You know, Saul. when I was looking at the pictures, I was like, you know, that Better Call Saul bitch may have it. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. I agree. Like, I, I haven't seen the show, surprised. but I think she could get it. Just yeah. Probably. No, I've heard great things about her. <laughs> but I wanted to be Megan Faye so bad. Yeah, or Aubrey. Too. I would be really excited for Aubrey, too. I'd be excited like, for Aubrey, too. I love and adore her. And it'd be cool That's to like have her and Nick Offerman win. Second. Yeah. On that category. No. Yeah. Make my little Parks and Rec happy to have Aubrey and Nick be winners this year. But oh, Megan Faye. And if Jennifer College wins, I'll be I'll still be happy. She'll give us a moment. Like she'll will that I'll It'll be iconic. I'll smile because that award I'll she smile. always gets me. Okay. So I think we did drama. Yeah. Those were our official drama. Or should we do the writing Correct. for drama? Oh, yeah, true. Let's just say, yeah, in category. And then we can go to the shows at the end. Okay. Um, Directing for our drama. I feel like these are harder. Cause these On my thing, it doesn't have the episodes. On my thing, it doesn't have the director. It has the episode. Oh, okay. So this will help. Okay. Well, for at least the shows we've seen. Directing for a drama. So it's Benjamin, Karen for Andor. We don't watch that. Yeah, I don't know. Peter <laughs> Hoare for The Last of Us. What episode was The Last of Us nominated for? Um, long, long time. Was that the? I think is that Bill and No, that's not Bill and Frank. Or Bill and Frank called Bill and Frank. Oh no! <laughs> the last. We need to do of some research. Long, long time. It's it's the Bill and Frank episode. Okay, okay. That's what Makes I thought. Okay. Sense. Interesting. And then Mark Mylod succession, I think, because there's two successions. Yeah, there's Mark. there's three on here. Oh, sh- yes, I have three. Okay. Okay. There's America Decides. That's the political one. Yeah. Connor's okay. Wedding. Okay, which I think is Mark Mylod. And then Living Plus. Okay, Living Plus was when candle did that speech uh, yeah 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 and then bad sisters we don't watch and then mike white directed every episode of white lotus but do you know which one arrived or see arriva Durchi. how do you say it arriva Durchi. what does that mean italian for hello or goodbye oh so it's either the first episode <laughs> arriva Durchi. it's it's the last episode of the season Okay. Happy Richie. Um yeah. well I stand by mine because I before I knew the episodes. Well I think it could be The Last of Us or Mark My Lod's Succession, the Connor's Wedding. Yeah. I picked Connor's Wedding. Yeah. Because it's gotta be like it Whoa. makes me like angry that it could not <laughs> be Connor's wedding. Cause that's like I was at a work function drinking my little wine and going off about Connor's wedding <laughs> to people who have and have not seen the show. And the people who have not, some of them were like, 
I don't think Succession's really for me, but then I'm explaining like the the one take, the surprise of what happened, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, okay. And I was like, yes. So Connor's <laughs> wedding was insane. Like the bear was like my overall favorite watch, I think of the year. But like that episode is probably like my favorite episode of TV to watch because like we didn't know anything going into it. We thought it was just going to be that like I knew we were in a historical moment <laughs> we like, I think about that a lot moment. of like to be there the day that Ross said Rachel's name at the altar like moments like that in TV history where it doesn't happen a lot present day because like not everyone watches the same shows like we've been saying it's really hard to like the shows that every single person tunes into and I think there's a handful like present day like Stranger Things like um Abbott even but yeah. HBO's where you're, everyone's really freaking locked in, and Succession it was Easter gave us Sunday, East on Easter Sunday, <laughs> Jesus has risen. That's my as Logan boy has fallen. fallen, and we did not know. You thought we were gonna be watching the wedding event of the century, and I went through the stages of grief with them. Like I was like, no way, this is gonna happen. Mm-hmm. And like, someone I saw a tweet today of like the clip where Kendall has to find Shiv and someone was like Jeremy did not know where Sarah was like there was like even just yeah. like quote unquote improv happening in that scene and there was one straight take like a fucking play yeah they were doesn't win, I'm suing the I'm suing the academy I need it to win like I need it to win <laughs> I'm with you we've agreed on everything so far hell yeah wow so, <laughs> we're in. we better be right we're locked in <laughs> we're locked in <laughs> And then writing for a drama. Is it the same thing where you have the episode, but not the... Yes. Okay, perfect. Jesse Armstrong succession. Was that, Was there only one succession? Yeah. yeah. And that's Connor's wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even feel like I should go on. But they I'm also like, okay, do- that's it. <laughs> Mike White wrote, is it Ariva Durche again? Yes. And then there's Belle William Andor, Gordon Smith, Better Call Saul... Um, another better call Saul from Peter Gold and the Bill and Um, Frank episode again the Bill and Frank episode okay see I think Bill and Frank is outstanding TV but when you're going up against Connor's wedding no like if I put those side to side it's like obviously (laughs) like that was just insane like I love a moment for a long long time because a moment <laughs> outstanding tv like that stands out amongst the last a lot of, of us things and it stands out amongst most tv but it's real to me like i lose sleep thinking about connor's wedding because it's just so good <laughs> i go to sleep thinking about connor's wedding it was changed from Connor. it's called like- connor's wedding and it being about the death of the <laughs> the succession was starting to happen the succession was starting and my life was ending and I just think about like I don't know so this is about writing specifically like the chain of events that happened like him being on the plane what had happened prior where they weren't speaking to him he had just called them very unserious people and was maybe not coming to the wedding (laughs) and then like even just like Connor and Willa's segment of the episode where like yeah Connor found out and like had his reaction but like I they know, still I went their through moment, yeah. their moments were so sweet and pure on a show where everyone's very selfish and thinking about themselves even in their relationships that felt so pure mm-hmm. oh, what a television show. <laughs> i think that's it's- clearly the it's not going to be but you know wrong of everything <laughs> then they're wrong <laughs> they're wrong they're wrong we're right yeah shut up <laughs> okay I think we nailed drama. We nailed it. <laughs> and we'll come back to the show at the end. But, um, okay, comedy. Mm-hmm. Lead actor in a comedy. <gasps> dun, dun. Bill Hader, Barry. Jason Siegel, Shrinking. Martin Short, Only Murders in the Building. Jason Sudeikis, Ted Lasso. And Jeremy Allen White, The Bear. It's crazy that Martin Short got nominated, but not Steve Martin. I know. No, I love Oliver. Uh, oh, you love Martin Short. I'm trying to, um, yeah, this would have been season three of Mar- of Only Murders, I think. 
but it is season one of the bear that's everything yeah 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 which is like i have to remind myself that Mm -hmm. (sighs) what do you do what do you have disclaimer i haven't seen shrinking right um you've seen everything else which is pretty good but i've seen everything else and my vote went to (laughs) jeremy allen white the bear. that's what i have marked down <laughs> like let me think about it. i i have seen shrinking love shrinking love only murders i can't see it being either of them and at this juncture yeah 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 like i could i love martin short like i thought like like martin short's a very good comedic actor to me but like next to everything else even though like the bear doesn't seem like a comedy to me uh, but <laughs> i feel like that's where we unpack this like it doesn't feel like a comedy like I, what I, is he like the best actor for comedic things no <laughs> but like he's in the category that's a good point. he's that's a, like because that's point. what i was thinking about with these categories is like because comedy like is like you think you'd want you want the people to make you in the show to make you feel like that i don't know and um, the bear is so it's not Rough. like I laugh, but it's not a comedy. I laugh like every, every... In my theory now that we're talking it. about it, is they... Because I think... I guess it's either the network or like the executives in charge of the bear that decide what category it's going in. So I don't know if it's Hulu or FX that made this decision. <laughs> they or said the this is a comedy. Bear, but I feel like most people wouldn't categorize it as a comedy. But sometimes I think the length plays into it. But also deciding your chances of winning yeah. and i think maybe they thought if they put it in drama they'd have a lesser chance which is yeah. true because you're up against the successions and everything versus a comedy but to your point as a comedy it should be <laughs> being a comedy but yeah. i think lines have blurred so much we're like barry's a comedy but it's also one of yeah. the most serious shows i've ever seen yeah like especially that last season like that was like i laughed like it was so serious. It was like, mm-hmm. and then the bear, like, would you put the second season of the bear? Like, I feel like the bear, the second season's a little more drama. Like the first yeah. season, I can see a little bit more how it could be considered a comedy, but still not really. But <laughs> like, I'm just confused with like, that makes me confused. But you know what? They're in the category. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's so strange because- I feel like it look really defensive about comedies because I think it is harder to be funny than it is to be serious because yeah. comedy is so subjective and comedy doesn't get taken seriously a lot in like Oscars and movies even though like if they don't at the Oscars they don't divide it into categories it's like best picture yeah and a comedy is never going to win best picture because they're just going to go with what like moved you who gave the performance of a lifetime because people don't take comedic performances seriously I could go on for this longer but like comedy. and comedy is so hard like I think it's hard to find a movie that everyone's going to agree is like a really great comedy because it's so subjective and that's what makes it harder mm-hmm. and if I'm looking at this by that perspective I think then Jason or Martin would win mm-hmm. Jason Siegel um, yeah because I'm re-watching Shrinking laughed out loud like I feel mm-hmm. like Sometimes that's hard to do. Like, I think a lot of shows are funny, but am I laughing out loud? Am I laughing? Am I LOLing? Martin Short always makes me LOL. <laughs> but if you're talking about performance within a category, it's got to be Jeremy Allen White. Yeah, like overall performance. Or I could see it being Bill Hader. Mm-hmm. Jason Sudeikis has won the last two times. Mm-hmm. So theoretically, wouldn't surprise me if he did, but I also don't think. I don't think it will be him. Yeah. All right. Should we just lock in Jeremy? <laughs> should we lock in Jaw? Yeah. If he doesn't win this year, I could definitely see him winning next year. I know. I'm like or, so yeah. shook that it's not season two. Yeah. Eligible like, I get is it, so weird. But yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But at least they'll be in next. Mm-hmm. I think if the bear doesn't win as much this year, not that I'm saying it won't, it definitely will because almost all the shows won't even be eligible next year. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay. 
lead actress in a comedy. Christina Applegate, Dead to Me, Rachel Brosnahan, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Quinta Brunson, Abbott Elementary, Natasha Leone, Poker Face, Jenna Ortega, Wednesday. I said Quinta Brunson, Abbott me Elementary. Too. Me too. <laughs> Makes me laugh. It's gotta be. <laughs> Good. I think Good comedic timing. Like We're already, sorry, we're already at the 10 minute warning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, I guess it's going to be 10,000 years. We'll find a natural stopping point and we'll try to be fast. I feel like we're getting there though. We got this. Okay. I agree. Quinta Brunson's fucking hilarious. Gene Smart won last year. That's who I'm trying to remember. I think it was Gene Smart. Okay. Um, Yeah, I think it's Quinta's to lose, to be honest. Quinta. I would love Christina Applegate to win. Yeah. I think I would, she's my yeah. second choice. Mm-hmm. She was acting on the show with MS. And not yeah. that you, that's why you should be awarded. Yeah. But she, well, even without that, is one of the funniest actresses in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, she is really good. I still need to watch the <laughs> Same. <laughs> to me, podcast episode coming this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Um, I would love it, especially because I don't know that she'll act again. Like, I would think this would be really cool to see her win. Mm-hmm. But I also think every other actress is deserving, but especially Quinta. 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 She's funny. All right. Supporting. Mm. Supporting. And a comedy for an actor. Ooh. Anthony Kerrigan Barry. Bill Dunstan. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. James Such Marsden, Jury Duty, Evan Moss, Bachrock, The Bear, Tyler James Williams, Abbott Elementary, and Henry Winkler, Barry. You know, there's some contenders in this category. There is. I think this is actually one of the harder categories. Yeah. And I know I have a lot of different biases in the category, but I know you're in for love a with reason. Five of them. I may be in love with one or two of them. <laughs> I mean... And one of them is Evan Moss. <laughs> <laughs> I've been moth. That's funny. Okay, well, I know what you want, and I know what I want, and I fear we're not getting either of those outcomes. Looks around. <laughs> you picked Anthony Kerrigan. Yeah. Yes. Who would I think be my second? I want it to be Phil Dunster. And I yes. do think he's very deserving. I think pretty much everyone in this category is very deserving. I fear. Not that I don't think he's deserving. I fear. Are you going to say Henry for- Winkler? No. Even though it'd be cool if he wanted to. I think he might may have one in this category. Oh, okay. I fear. And I hate saying I fear because it makes a negative I connotation. Fear. <laughs> I fear. But given how passionate I am about Anthony Kerrigan and um, Phil Dunster. I think it may be Tyler James Williams, though. Oh. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be mad about that. Because, yeah, but this is the hardest one. Because I also thought of James Marsden, because I just think he did yes. like, such a good job. And Jerry, jury duty could be a sleeper in this. Like, it could be a sleeper shooter. Like... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I think it could surprise everyone, because it was no, But you know what I was so also fucking thinking? good. I was also for Ebon. <laughs> yes. I think season two, it's his. Yeah, it's his. It has to be his. There's no other be. option. I'll have to sue the whole. Because well, while we're talking about Connor's wedding, if this was not separated by the jurisdiction of the Emmy contention, Forks, I could go on about that. Forks? Yeah, we watched that one last night too. Mm-hmm. So good. Television. So good. Television. Too <laughs> good. Um... Uh. I think we should lock, though. I'm putting you down for Anthony Kerrigan. And I'm putting me down for Phil Dunster because we need manifestation. I have to support my Anthony Kerrigan. I want it to be Anthony. Like, if it's Anthony or Phil, I will smile for a lifetime. Because <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Kerrigan, no one like, I think is one of the best fictional characters of all time. And I'd ride or die for him if Phil also wasn't in this category. That makes it so hard. <laughs> Because I also think Phil is very deserving. If it's going to be someone from Ted, because Brett won the last two times, 
I don't think it's Brett's year. If I think it's, it's gonna Bill's. be someone from Ted because Brett looks like CGI. <laughs> Not a real man. <laughs> and they put him in with they put him in with it. CGI. Yeah, that's not that's a real not person. <laughs> you gotta tell me if he's real because I don't think he is. I'm going to see Brett next week, next week, week or two, and I will let you know from and very far away in the good. balcony how real he looks in real life. That's a CGI man. Yeah. But yes, I do think in general, Roy just, until the last like three episodes, Roy didn't have as big of a presence, in my opinion, in terms of like outstanding performances. Bill did. So if it's going to be from someone from Ted, I feel very passionate about it. But I she do feel passionate really about really passionate about, about, about her Phil. I do. <laughs> Jamie! And I feel very passionately about my no-ho Hank. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the this is the category I think we're made the most stink in. <laughs> Not the most. Um, no, and Megan Faye. I feel like I'll ride or die for her too. That's where my Megan passions Faye. lie. Um, my passion project wins are Phil Dunster and Megan Faye. Because I care about her. Morning, noon, and night I care about her. Megan Faye? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it All right. Let's Anywho. try to get through one more category before we're Jamie screwed. We're screwed. I could go on and on about supporting It's going to be dark in here. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's let's try to finish comedy let's go let's go supporting actress comedy alex borsi marvelous mrs mazel iowa debris the bear janelle james abbott shirley abbott juno temple ted hannah Waddingham, ted lasso and jessica williams shrinking uh we've seen everything except i know you haven't seen shrinking i actually did not pick one i'm realizing for this category i just wrote ug yeah true this one's hard Well, mine was kind of biased. Io? Because I just love Io. <laughs> no, I think she's like, so, so much deserving. I don't think it'll be Jessica Williams for shrinking now that she isn't so deserving. I just think it's you such a stacked Jessica category. Williams. No, I fucking no, I love Jessica Williams. Is. I gotta watch shrinking. You would love her. She's great. <laughs> um, I think that she could win. It's just such a stacked category. I don't think it'll be Hannah or Juno. I mean, if it's going to be anyone from Ted, it's probably going to be Hannah, even though I love Juno. They just also didn't give Kaylee enough this season. Yeah. Um, Cheryl did win, so I could see her, but I really also could see Janelle James winning. Yeah. And I could see Iowa winning, and I could see Alex Borstein winning because she's won already. But because of that, I just feel like she won't. Not yeah. that that did take, but just, I don't think this is the strongest Susie season, yeah, you know? Based up, yeah, that was. I think that show wasn't the strongest this season. Yeah, so exactly. So- exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, they got their awards when it was hot. They got, yeah, they got their time. They got- <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I want, just for the fun of it, to pick some. Honestly, not, ma- wouldn't be, like, mad with any of them. Yeah. Like, slay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever walks up and gets them. I agree. Mm-hmm. I'm honestly, let's both ride or die for Io. Yes, <laughs> Io's an icon. It's Io, even though this isn't even for season two, it's Io's year. Well, You're it right. was Io's year. I'm with you. <laughs> uh, directing for a comedy directing. series. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, we don't watch the Miss Pat show. I don't even know what that is. Are we bad TV heard, people? I've never heard of that. Timber and Wednesday. Do you know what episode of Wednesday got nominated? It is Child. Child is full of woe. I, I don't know which one. It is. <laughs> <laughs> um, not that it Wednesday Child is full of woe. What episode is that? What is that? Episode. Episode one. The first one. Oh, okay. Um, and then Bill Hader Barry. Do you know which one that is? Bill Hader. It's wow. 
That's the last Which, one. Good one. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> um, Ted Lasso, Declan Low- Lowney. Um, so long, farewell. Last one. Um, Amy Sherman Palladino, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Four minutes. Last one. Last one. <laughs> and then Christopher Storer, The Bear. Review. So episode s- seven. Seven. Which is the their first That's one take. One. Yeah. Episode. Okay. Um who I'm between I'm t- two. Me too. Is it Barry and the Bear? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same. So I'm trying to think because this is directing. And then I think both of them are nominated the same thing for writing, right? Yeah, but the writing for the bear is system. Oh. But Barry's wow. So like I, I mean, just to jump ahead for writing, I picked Barry wow. And for directing, I picked the review. I think I agree. Mm -hmm. Because like the directing, I think, is what stands out about the bear. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, all one. Yeah. But then the last episode, the, bear- the writing is crazy. Uh- <laughs> the last episode of Barry is just so good. Like, that's yeah. one of my like favorite series finales of all time. Yeah. All right. I'm with you just to do a one two punch. One two punch. Directing- but they're both so good. And yeah. yeah, that the wow episode is like, <laughs> it changed my life. Perfect <laughs> ending. It changed my life in the way. Like, calling it wow. Like, yeah, I think as a whole, Barry deserves fucking something because yeah. it's such a good show. <laughs> they start they to deserve finish. something. <laughs> give give them them something. Ah, <laughs> uh, I feel like yeah, comedy as a whole just has so many great contenders. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, not to jump ahead to like big question of like the show, but like drama. Like, there are just shows where I know it's not going to be that show. Yeah. Versus, like, comedy, I could see it going to much more of the options. Mm-hmm. Okay, but I think that finishes us up for com- yeah, comedy. Because then I think the other options are some Only Out Murders in the Building, Ted Lasso, the other two. Oh, shout out to Mecky Leaper, though, for getting nominated for Jury Duty. Like, that's so yes. cool. Yes. Like, if that won, I would not be mad at all because I love Jury Duty and Mecky. That's so exciting. Yeah, that's cool. I feel like he's my friend. <laughs> Just because he was on Sex Lives and Culture, I was like, I know that guy. He's winning. He could win an Emmy. I know him. Yeah, and then obviously, like, if the bear or Barry gets any of those, like, excited either way, but would love for Barry to get some fucking recognition. To get something. Please. <laughs> I think this is where I have to say, though, the Ted Lasso of it all, like, I was talking to my mom about it. The Ted Lasso of it all. I think they, like, shot themselves in the foot by saying we're gonna do three seasons we could do more but we have this big plan for season three then they got really big around seasons one and two that there was so much pressure on going okay if this is our last season we got to make it great and I heard they were doing rewrites and rewrites and rewrites and they also had so many characters they were trying to fit yeah. so much into one season where if they said okay this doesn't have to be our last season we can do this here and then spread this out into season four and it would have been a better season yeah, they should have just at least did one more season or yeah. I mean maybe they still will, but they already put like, so much into the uh, season. Exactly. Cause like they were trying to do like Keely's business and then Re- Re- what was Rebecca doing? And then Roy had, I think, a really good story, but they like saved but there it wasn't for the much end, of and then it. there wasn't yeah. yeah, I think the only one who had like a full arc genuinely was Jamie, which is why I think like she <laughs> stands out so much. <laughs> Cause they like actually I think did a good job building his story through three seasons, but I feel like a lot of it was rushed and they like yeah like, made sam such a big part of season two but like the lesser part of season three like i know and i think that was only because then they were giving danny and call call had a great story could have been mm-hmm. longer though isaac they wanted to give something to everyone which i like it's a great cast but they only had 12 episodes. so many characters <laughs> and then making the episodes really long which i'm not always mad at but again it could have all been stuff that they like did the appropriate amount of time for season three and then saved some of it for another season yeah and that's what I have to say. And they about still that. won't tell you. <laughs> they gotta do something. But at the they, same time, because they wrote it to a point where it's like Ted left and did this and that. And 
yeah it's like, it's like how, how then what is season out? four yeah <sighs> oh, it was oh. too close to it and we also like there were four of us talking about it on the podcast we did yeah so it wasn't there wasn't enough time to really I think just like sit with that essentially because we finished it like the week before yeah but now I'm like bummed because I love the show like I do as a whole think it's such a great show and I think a lot of people just like turned on it I'm like one season doesn't make or break but I just had so much hope everyone turned against against Jason today I was like that's my friend (laughs) um but that's all I have to say about that and I don't think it'll win as many awards this year which is a bummer because I feel like that sends the message of like we fucked up but I feel like it's hard to be held to this caliber they were given with all the awards and attention Mm -hmm. so it's also like there's so many good shows like this yeah yeah I feel like it's crazy yeah but so I think it's funny I think it's critics association one of the other award shows fills the only nomination they got like they didn't get a best show they didn't get writing I don't know what constitutes at this specific award show but the only thing that got nominated was Phil for supporting actor. So I'm like, all right, let's go, buddy. It's all on you. It's all on you. Um, but yeah, comedy, there's <laughs> a lot. And we'll get to the best one. But like, Yo. limited series. Oh, limited series. I know all about that. Yeah, we've seen so <laughs> many of them. I think I've okay. seen one. So technically for limited series... It could be a limited series, anthology, or movie for best actor. There's Taryn Egerton, Blackbird, Kumal Nanjiani for Welcome to Chippendales, Evan Peters for Dahmer, Daniel Radcliffe for Weird Al, Michael Shannon, George and Tammy, and Stephen Yoon Beef. Okay, I said Taryn just because I like <laughs> Yeah, I, yes. I'm but a I big Taryn Egerton girl. Peters will win. I think Evan Peters will win too. Yeah. I don't want him to. I don't and not that him. I dislike Evan Peters. I think he's great. I just don't love that the Dahmer show is There's what's just getting so all this fucking much, hype. Yeah. When people said that it's not, I don't know. It's just like, I think there's a it's way crazy. to tell stories about serial killers without <laughs> glamorizing it. I haven't seen the show. Don't know how they do it. But I'm like, this is a little too much on this guy. Yeah. And especially like if people the victims of the like the family of the victims are talking like bad about it you know it's not (laughs) yeah exactly yeah I think that's all we gotta say yeah (laughs) so I do think Evan will win but I'm giving you Taryn and I'm gonna give myself Daniel Radcliffe because that's who I want to win (laughs) we're praying for anyone else I just want Rocket Man I just want Rocket Man you're right the gorilla from is he a gorilla (laughs) It's something like that. <laughs> I love Taryn. I would smile if Taryn won. I would smile <laughs> if Daniel won. Good smile. Um, I could also maybe see Steven Yeun. I think people really like yeah. Beef, but I don't know. I want to watch Beef. Same. Look at to our list. <laughs> okay, lead actress in the limited series: Lizzie Kaplan, Fleischman is in trouble. Jessica Chastain, George and Tammy, Dominique Fishbeck, Swarm, Catherine Hahn, Tiny Beautiful Things. Riley Keough, Daisy Jones and the Six, and Ali Wong Beef. We have only seen Daisy Jones and the Six. Daisy Jones. <laughs> um, I, I, when I did this last night, I put Jessica Chastain just because I could see that happening. But now yeah. I don't know because I also know that people love Swarm and that Swarm was amazing. Yeah, Swarm. Yeah. And then because I saw it, I love Riley Kyo. I love Riley, but I don't think it will be her. I don't think it will be. If if it if it's between a mix of want and possibility, then I would pick Catherine Hahn. Yeah, I would also pick Catherine Hahn. Again, I like, don't I think, know. I think it's possible for her to win, but like I think I don't know. I mean, based on like what I've seen, Swarm. Think Swarm, like I kind of thinking Dominique. Which yeah, I also want to watch that. I just yeah. know nothing about it. Yeah, do I, so I want to pick people sw- I know, like the names I know. <laughs> right? Do I want to be smart or go with my heart? I go with my heart. 
Because Captain Hall would would also be big for the campaign for Parks and Rec domination. (laughs) So true. Domination at the 75th Emmy. You know what? I don't know what's going on in limited series. You know that I might as well pick Catherine Hall on. Hell yeah. I, I what kinda, about you? Um, I'm gonna go with Dominique. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I like the I like that we're flushing out. We'll see. We'll see. I do want to watch Swarm. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, that's the problem with limited series though. Like it's around for like, but no one talks about it. Like, yeah. Like it, it it's has like its time. It has its time and then it leaves. And now I feel like I lost the time for it to, right right for people to be talking about because i love when people are talking about shows mm-hmm. okay uh, supporting in a limited anthology or movie murray bartlett that was the person i was trying to think of murray yeah murray bartlett welcome Jimenez. to chip and <laughs> paul walter hauser blackbird richard jenkins dahmer joseph lee beef ray loyota blackbird young mazino beef or jesse plemons love and death so this is where I don't know enough about these shows to like have a prediction. Like I mo- I marked like four of them. <laughs> but I think I like marked Murray Bartlett and Jesse Plemons because I like them. Yeah. But then I kind of am thinking the guy from Dahmer too, just because I know that the keeps getting shit. Dahmer. But for some reason, Ray Liotta stood out to me too in Blackbird. What is Blackbird on? App. What- uh, okay because that's Terrence and that that's the one Terrence and yeah um I don't know Brie what do you think know. I might just fucking go with Blackbird just for fun okay I'm gonna give it to Murray Bartlett just okay yeah. Like yeah 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 <laughs> we need Bill and Frank to win something since they were nominated <laughs> against each other against each other okay Supporting Actress Limited Series, Annalie Ashford, Welcome to Chippendales, Maria Bello, Beef, Claire Danes, Fleischman is in Trouble, Juliette Lewis, Welcome to Chippendales, Camilla Marone, Daisy Jones and the Six, Nisi Nash, Dahmer, and Merritt Weaver, Tiny Beautiful Things. I think it's going to be Nisi know Nash. Know. I would support it being Nisi Nash. Yeah. And she's won That's, some of the other stuff too, I think. And I saw one, I've seen literally one clip from her on Twitter <laughs> and it was of Nisi Nash. Mm-hmm. And she's just a good, great actor. And I support, yeah. I mean, I don't support the show, but like, yeah, you know, they're going like to, you know, they're going to get stuff. Mm-hmm. Ryan Murphy's always at the scene of the crime. Always at the scene of the crime. <laughs> Can't deny it. <laughs> When he got honored at the Globes last year, that was so was funny. This year, and they were showing Glee, and I was like, "This is what it's about." Well, it's also just funny because like his his catalog of work is so different. It is. And then it's like Glee, so, like the fact that it's Glee and then Dahmer, <laughs> like really dark thing, American Horror Story. Yeah, it's funny. We love a range, I guess. Oh, yes, range. <laughs> okay, is that who you're picking, Nisi? Yeah, me too. Okay. And then writing for an anthology and directing for an anthology. Since we don't know most of these, it's Dahmer, Fleischman is in trouble, another Dahmer, Beef, Beef, and Prey. I want to go. With... I don't know. I feel like Dahmer's just going to win everything. Yeah. And I don't know the difference between these two writers and episodes. Yeah. And I don't know any of these episodes. Um, and then for writing oh those were directors for writing there's Prey, Fire Island Fleischman is in Trouble, Beef Donald Glover's nominated for Swarm I kind of just want to pick him but also oh. Weird Al they liked Weird Al's movie <laughs> they like true okay I'm gonna for directing it's just which Dahmer. We don't know who wrote. We don't know which one we're picking. You know, I don't know. Which- <laughs> I'm going to pick the one that's bad meat. Okay. Let me find out who wrote that. <laughs> I don't know. Bad meat Dahmer writer. Or sorry, director. There's bad meat in Carl silence. Carl Franklin. Okay. I'll pick that too. Okay. Carl Franklin who wrote bad meat. <laughs> I hate that. I hope we're wrong. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing with that one. And then for writing, 
I kind of either want to pick Donald Glover or Weird Al. I think I'll do. I want to do Donald Donald Glover. Okay. Because I like the idea. Like I, I haven't watched Swarm, but I want to. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, I'll do Weird Al. Throw it for Weird Al and Daniel Radcliffe. You know he didn't write it. (laughs) Okay. For Daniel Radcliffe. Now for the big money. Oh no, the big money. (laughs) Starting with limited series, just because we don't know what the fuck. We don't know what the. We've only seen Daisy. I would watch Obi Wan. I did want to watch Fleischman is in trouble. I want to watch everything except for Beef. Or sorry, Dahmer. Uh, yeah. So it's Beef, Dahmer, Daisy Jones, Fleischman, Obi Wan Kenobi. And unfortunately, I think it's going to be Dahmer. Ugh. Well, I'm just going to say screw it for this one this- and pick something that's definitely not going to win and say Daisy Jones. <laughs> just because. I want to say something that's not like. I kind of want to say Daisy Jones in the six I think we should. We gotta. We gotta support our family. Exactly. Go stand up for our family. <laughs> okay. We gotta give them something, and it was a fun show. It, it was. What it, it, it was fun, and it, it was needed emo. to do. Yeah, they had emotion. They were acting yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I hate Billy. Oh. What? <laughs> I love Eddie. When you're Eddie. <laughs> when you're Eddie. When I'm Eddie. <laughs> You're so Eddie. <laughs> Eddie coded. <laughs> okay. Comedy. Oh no. Mm, Abbott Elementary, Barry, The Bear, Jury Duty, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Only Murders in the Building, Ted Lasso, and Wednesday. And big ups to us for watching every single one of those shows let's go we did that it wasn't sometimes i'll look at a list and go i should try to watch more of these these we just did we just we watched them because we wanted to we enjoyed them and that's why we have this podcast that's television files yes yes (laughs) exactly megan exactly source yeah um that being said what was that like i don't know this is what i want to say with peace love and respect and in the spirit of the show that every show doesn't have to be the most amazing show to be a great show to be an enjoyable show this is very unserious with your left hand free but why why was wednesday nominated and not shrinking i know you haven't seen shrinking but you even probably think in the back of your head no i'm surprised that shrinking wasn't um nominated yeah, Wednesday. I did like Wednesday. Yeah, but when you compare again, not that everything needs to be like Emmy caliber, whatever. But I think shrinking was better than Wednesday, in my opinion. And she said it, and I said it. <laughs> shrinking was great, like especially rewatching it. I had a blast and was like, oh, "This yeah. is so much better than Wednesday." And like Wednesday was great in its own right, but oh, shrinking's about grief and family and other stuff that's not spoilers. and phoebe bridger's place exactly that was beautiful <laughs> it's so good and i was taking notes just in case we do do shrinking anytime soon and like there were some things that stood out to me that i didn't clock the first time that i'm just like this is genius this is this is to get genius. nominated for best show at the emmys no wednesday is here i guess so it's also funny because like how long like wins now it's been since wednesday because of the strike pushing it back like, yeah it was so long ago yeah um that being said you know <laughs> i go you know <laughs> I, want, mm-hmm. I said the bear the bear but i also a close i've I would like the idea of Abbott Elementary winning just because, like, I think in the terms of a comedy, I think it is, like, a great comedy. Like, yeah. But I am with you because those were the two I marked. Yeah. But right between that is Barry. Yeah, and that's another one. In my heart of hearts, being its final season, (laughs) and yeah, it's Maisel's final, final season and probably Ted Lasso's final season. But I don't think they've, they slayed, they've gotten their like, shit. They've gotten yeah. their shit. Maisel and Barry have, or Maisel and Ted Lasso have both won before. Yeah. Wednesday doesn't deserve. <laughs> Wednesday just cross it off. Only murders could have another day. I don't know yeah. about jury. Jury duty could also, like I said, be a sleeper unit. Who knows? 
Jerry Duty I would honestly funny. be thrilled if Jerry Duty won. Um, but there's something in my heart that tells me that Barry should win, given that like the Bear and Abbott are gonna have their other day. Yeah. Like it'd be nice of Barry to win. Yeah. But, but will it? But will it? I don't know. I will smile if the bear, Barry, Abbott, or Jury Duty wins. Not yeah, that I, I would wouldn't literally smile for the others. I just don't think What if happens. Wednesday won? <laughs> that would be insane. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I would be happy with any of those two. Yeah. Like, I think the first, like, like, I love The Marvelous Miss Maisel, of course, and Ted Lasso, but, like, I don't think the last seasons were as good as their other seasons. Mm-hmm. So. I agree. <sighs> Abbott, I just love as a comedy because it, it's, and it stays good and it's, like, truly funny. Like, I laugh. Um, and it's got heart. It's got it all. Yeah. But the bear is my family. Those are my cousins. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And Barry killed my no-ho Hank. That's tragic. Every day I light a candle for him. Okay. <laughs> okay. Every day. What if you say the bear, I say Abbott? Okay, and if and we're, then we're covered, win, then we're fine. Where we won, <laughs> we won. And but if it's but if it's the if it happens to be Barry, then we'll shoot shout from the rooftop. <laughs> Even we'll if it's somehow jury duty too, I'd be thrilled. Yeah. Okay, so okay, locking you into good. the bear because I feel like the bear and Abbott do have the most legs. But mm-hmm. Barry should Barry. also be. Barry right. should get something. Please. I think it'd be writing. nice if they got directing or writing. Yeah. I can't believe they didn't win for the highway episode in season three. Oh yeah. And I think Ted Lasso won, and I love Ted Lasso. But for a directing award, I don't think whatever episode of Ted, it might have been like the funeral episode, which was a great episode of Ted. I don't know. Man. Mm. Drama series. <laughs> Drama. We know what I said. We know what you said. I think we do. But our nominees are <laughs> Andor, Better Call Saul, The Crown, House of the Dragon, The Last <laughs> of Us, Succession, The White Lotus, and Yellow Jackets. Yes. Slay. And you know what? succession baby it's gotta be succession <laughs> i will lose my I will shit lose my- if it's not succession it's probably gonna be house of the dragon oh my god i throw up house of the dragon got nothing else on this right i don't think we mentioned it no they they're only on the overall which is weird house of like they Flop. have nothing else for like they don't have any actors on board or directing or writing but they're in the full category like huh yeah, it would shock me to my core if House of Dragon won. Succession all the way. And if it's, it's not, Sue. I'll be so sick to my stomach if Succession I'll be sick. doesn't I'll be win. Sick. And I fear for who's with me, aka Ava and Julia, that we'll have to witness <laughs> that I shit. I fear. Um, I, the only person show that I could see beating it would be The Last of Us. And I couldn't be that upset. But like we've been saying... It's just got to be succession. Comparatively, it's succession. I love The Last of Us and I love Yellow Jackets, but those just don't compare to succession. I agree. And you know what? Successions, this is it. And then they can they can go away and it will be someone else's turn. Imagine I'm wearing my shib shirt. Yeah. And I come like that. <laughs> just imagine. <laughs> Photoshop it on. <laughs> Right. They sweep. Sweep. Succession sweep. Succession sweep. <laughs> it's gotta be succession. It's gotta be Kieran. It's gotta be Sarah. It's gotta be Matthew McFadden or someone. We are literally asking. We're we're asking for a succession sweep out Please. of the uh, succession sweep. Well, now we gotta we gotta sit down for the globes tonight on CBS. I thought they were always on NBC. <laughs> on CBS. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I could watch it with my Paramount Plus subscription. I don't think I can. Because <laughs> CBS, I think, is one of the channels that doesn't really work here. So we'll see what happens. Is it on at 8? Well, 7? I guess. I think. Yes. I'm shook. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see 
how that all goes. Plus, there's movies. Plus, there's want to try Barbie. to be a cinephile this year. Cinephile. I will say, not that we need to spend too much time on this. There are more movies that are like award contenders this year that I'm actually interested in versus in prior years. There's maybe one where I'm like, I'd watch that. But I yeah. think, not that I remember them all the top of my head, but I think there's a few where I'm like, I'd watch that. <laughs> I'd watch that. Wow. So, like, maybe I'll be a cinephile. So maybe, maybe I'll pay for Letterbox Pro. Letterbox Pro. Did you look at your Letterbox wrap? No. Did I get it? Go online to look at it because it wasn't on the app. Oh. Did they send an email or anything? Or you just had to go look at it? I found it. Like, I found it. My I did the work myself because I'm independent. (laughs) Because you're a cinephile. Wait, I can open it on Letterbox. Can I, like... Oh, no, it just opened my letterbox. Um, where'd it go? Oh, no. That's... Um, I had other stats, but my most watched actor was Josh Hutcherson. <laughs> and my most watched director was Francis Lawrence. So oh, that yeah. was the year of the Hunger Games, baby. <laughs> I think if he didn't direct Ballad of Songbirds and Stakes and we didn't watch Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Who knows? I did watch The Hunger Games multiple times this year. (laughs) So it really could have still been the same. But that was mine. Last year was Sandra Bullock was my actor. I knew. Yeah, Sandra Bullock was mine last year. Okay, what do I do? I have to do this right now. Okay. All right. You find it out. It was, I went on Letterboxd's Twitter and there was a link or it told you where to go. Why are they making it so complicated? I'm going to sue them. Um, so while you do that, I'm going to fill air by saying oh. we're so back. It's season two of Unseries. This. We're still going to track them as episodes. This is episode 31. Season two, 2024. We're going to be back in two weeks to do something. A surprise show that me and Brie will discuss. A separately. surprise show. We're going to try to do something in a couple weeks. We're doing a little bit of an extended break in between while we're remote. But then in February, we should be on regularly planned schedule with some February romance shows like The Buccaneers, maybe Starstruck. I regret to inform that Nathan Fielder February probably won't happen because I I, regret I did to. not start much. I did watch one episode of the rehearsal. I was told by my friend to not start with the rehearsal. Start with Nathan for you, then go to the rehearsal, and then go to the curse, and that the curse disappointed them. Oh. So that really took me out of it. Oh, wait. I heard the curse was disappointing, too. I heard yeah. that. Which, that's, so that's tragic. I know. That's, that's a could... bummer. That puts a mistake in yeah like are we gonna cover it now (laughs) like do i even need to try (laughs) so he said who knows what else bridgerton's not coming out right away so we're gonna have to figure out what we're doing in february what we're doing for the last wednesday of this month sorry thursday of this month but much to come there's some exciting stuff abbott will be back we're so back hack we're so back Hacks is back in the spring, baby. So expect that in the spring. Yes. And <laughs> yes. What else? Uh, um, maybe we'll Pretty have Little Liars season two. Pretty Little Liars season two. Maybe a season of One Tree Hill. Maybe Uh-oh. some Grey's Anatomy. But also let us know what you want to watch. Is it Josh and Francis? Yeah. <laughs> Hunger Games, baby, but also maybe some other film series. We talked about doing Twilight for fall. We're gonna do Twilight. Twilight. There's a possibility. <laughs> yes. Everyone let us know what you want to see. <laughs> We're open to a bunch of stuff. We just have to see how it works in terms of viewing. And we're still coming out every, well, for now, every other Thursday, but in February, every Thursday, we're back and better than ever and then tune into the oscars nope tune into the emmys <laughs> on the tv podcast this is the tv tune podcast the don't get emmys it twisted <laughs> and see how we do we're gonna post on social media on our instagram and tiktok at unseries what we decided today yeah okay we'll see you in two weeks for something oh what will it be oh oh we don't even know oh
Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Oh, wait. Bye. Watch the Emmys. Happy New Year. Happy Happy 2024, bitches. <laughs> Thanks for listening to our podcast. Remember to rate, follow, and share with friends. And find us on TikTok and Instagram at Unseriesist to see more content and find out what we're watching next. We hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.